Welcome to a brand new season at the Lyceum. It's full of exciting productions to fill the auditorium. We'll be exploring universal themes, war, power, love, desire, murder, all in this truly extraordinary theatre. First up, we have Macbeth the Undoing by Zinni Harris, a wonderful take on Shakespeare's classic play that puts Lady Macbeth at the heart of the story. I've always loved the, the um, story of Macbeth. I remember doing it at school, as so many of us did. But I've always had a curiosity about Lady Macbeth and how, for the first half of the play, she's the person that's saying, come on, we've got to do this, be a man. And I've always just been really curious about that, that journey and trajectory and, and how, what happened to this woman that was going from, from sort of someone that was sort of seemingly holding it together whilst her husband was kind of almost disappearing into this fear of the supernatural and guilt and then somehow it kind of catches up with her. So I then wanted to uh, find a way to communicate to the audience that it is going to be partly Shakespeare's original text, but also have a little bit of Harris in there. And, you know, the, the original is called The Tragedy of Macbeth, and I started to think about the ways in which the characters start to fragment. And so this sort of idea of, of Macbeth the undoing uh, seemed to sort of speak to me, partly as talking about the characters themselves, but partly about my way of working with the text and, and, and you know, taking the weave from Shakespeare and starting to thread it in a slightly different way. Next up, we're collaborating with Payne's Plough, Britain's leading new writing theatre company, to bring you Bury Me, an extraordinary story about the city of Cairo and about six young people struggling to live and love freely in the aftermath of the Arab Spring. The play is about young people navigating life and love um, and living in Egypt. It's a really vibrant young um, energetic piece of work and it's fast and it's got that kind of um, urgency about it. So you meet lots of different characters, two young people that are kind of growing up and, and sort of questioning their own identity and their queerness and others that are kind of fighting against quite an oppressive political system. For me I think that really speaks to um, you know lots of young people in Edinburgh, in Glasgow, Scotland and beyond um, because it feels like there's a connection to how we all have to navigate life and love as we grow up. At Easter we present Isabel MacArthur's adaptation of Kidnapped by Robert Louis Stevenson. It's a collaboration with the National Theatre of Scotland, a swashbuckling tale full of music and adventure. I love the novels of Robert Louis Stevenson, but this one in particular is very funny and very Scottish. Um, it has hidden within it, not so um, hard to find, I suppose, uh, a love story as well. So for me, funny love stories with music are the sort of perfect triumvirate for a really enjoyable piece of theatre. I believe very strongly in uh, making like fantastic old novels accessible to as many people as possible and one really good way to do that is to present them as really generous pieces of theatre. Um, stuff that's very important to me theatrically, a lot of it comes from sort of Glasgow Music Hall origins, so loads and loads of gags like front-footed, personality-led performances, um, uh, a direct exchange with the audience and live music. Lastly, we welcome to the stage one of literature's greatest love stories, Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, in an exciting new version adapted by Leslie Hart and directed by Paulina Kalanina. Ah. It's not a rom-com, it's a rom trage. It, you it know, is a rom -trage. It's romantic, yeah. it's full of, it's obviously it's about love and sex and family and human connection. Um, it's also about uh, pu the public shaming and scandalising of women. And what attracted us to it mm. is the idea, what does it cost yes. to live your life truthfully? What does it take? What, what yeah. does it take? What is the cost we pay in yeah. society to living a truthful, honest life yes and what does it what does it mean to truly live it's about all of these things obviously it's a big story it's about lots of things and it's got all these elements of human experience in it but for me and for us it's um it asks what does it take to live your life truly and to truly live 
Finally, not part of our season, but equally exciting, we're thrilled to finally be able to bring you Castle Lennox by Linda McLean, presented by Lung Ha Theatre Company on our main stage. I do hope you can join us at the Lyceum for a season of epic theatre and memorable nights out. It's time to lose yourself in theatre again.